Hello, my name is Nick Hickford from Pickering Interfaces, and in this short video, I will discuss upgrading an automated electronic functional test process from a legacy test system to the latest industry standard platform. Such a test system migration may be required, for example, when an avionics module's life cycle is extended by a number of years, and the manufacturer's existing ATE can no longer be supported for this additional length of time. The replacement ATE's functionality will ideally need to closely match that of the legacy system in order to simplify the transition process by potentially reusing existing test fixtures and programs. VXI, or VME Extensions for Instrumentation, has been a platform for automated tests since 1987. This was the first industry standard chassis-based architecture in test. VXI systems provided higher data transfer rates and real-time performance than were possible with rack and stack instruments, and the platform was principally successful in the aerospace and defense markets. However, VXI is now over 30 years old, and many of the leading test and measurement companies are now no longer supporting the standard. Today, more test system designers are choosing PXI, or PCI extensions for instrumentation, when designing new modular test systems or replacing or updating existing test systems. Like VXI, PXI has a modular open architecture with integrated timing capabilities, but it has a steadily growing industry adoption and the active support of over 60 test and measurement companies worldwide. To help ease the hardware migration, Pickering has developed PXI switch modules that closely match the operation of a range of VXI switching modules from the major VXI manufacturers. In addition, our policy of supporting our PXI switching products for 15 to 20 years means that your next generation test systems will have as long as life as their predecessors. While the wide availability of PXI modules makes the choice of migrating VXI switching hardware relatively straightforward, there are several potential issues to consider. Firstly, there is the migration of test program software to the newer platform. In many cases, this code may need to be rewritten, but based on the original test program structure. However, if your original test programs utilize the VXI plug and play drivers, specifically the Visa layer, much of the test code will be reusable. The next issue is module real estate. A VXI C size module has a lot more usable area than the standard 3U PXI module, meaning that in some cases, two PXI modules may be required to replicate the original functionality. Generally, however, VXI module designs do not have the density of today's PXI switch modules, and so this is not usually an issue. In addition, Pickering is making use of new technology to introduce advanced features such as embedded relay self-test, something that had not been available in VXI. Lastly, there is system interconnection. Low frequency VXI switch modules will in most cases have a different front panel connector to the uh, replacement PXI modules. And so you should plan on building or buying new cables or adapters. Our extended range of cables and connectors and our free online cable design tool will help you with your connectivity requirements. To learn more, please go to this URL and check out our VXI to PXI switching cross-reference tables. You can download a brochure on the subject and also learn about the cabling options available from Pickering Interfaces. Thank you for your time today. To see our entire range of switching, simulation, cabling and supporting software tools, or to contact your local salesperson, please go to pickeringtest.com.